You have Broken Fang Pass or Forest of the Weeping Wind. Mm. We did save here, didn't we? Okay, I want to actually check both of them. Council 5 has received warning that Elkar, the Shadow Wizard, is attempting to set up an ambush as you pass through the Forest of the Weeping Wind. These forces must be crushed before they penetrate your lines. Okay, let's take a quick look. Random map with the uh, town, shrine, town, town, right, two shrines, three towns. Broken Fang Pass. Elkar the Shadow Wizard has sent a force into the pass as Broken Fang to harass your supply lines. Councillor Fair suspects that this is also an advance for a counter-offensive designed to retake the pass. The car forces must be driven from the area to forestall such an event. A shrine, town, town. So this is a vastly inferior map. And the reason is because of those extra shrines. Ooh, town, shrine, town, shrine, town, shrine. So now three shrines and three towns. Because every shrine has a is a chance to get more money or magical items. So in the other option we have one and here we have three. So it's not exactly hard to see what could be the difference. This could be the difference between getting 70 gold and getting 210 gold. So that's a lot of research you could gain to could get that gold. It could be the difference between getting a sling or getting a couple of crossbows and a sling. So try to gain both of these sides. Yeah, we don't really know where the enemy is going to come from, or where it is, we are the one who has to destroy it. So we sort of have to go in many places at once. The most important positioning of a unit will be that you guns. They are excellent, excellent scouting units at these times. Also, we need to give thought where to put these sky hunters. Siege engine. Siege engine isn't going to be useful. We see the enemy. Yeah, we see at least part of it. Okay, now let's. Yeah, we can see quite a large area with the Johns already. We can do this. Now we can see even further. And yeah, there's nothing really here. This is their main army we can see at the moment. Fight cavalry, magical, ooh, three men. Uh, not much. We'll just take these two shrines and start. Magical armor. I'm not too keen on that. 80 gold. Well, I don't think there's much point sending here a lot of troops where the fighting is going to happen. That's the problem. He can cast death wounds on someone who will attack us and cause serious casualties, and he's going to 
probably cast it on the tree men, which are dangerous on their own already. So we'll try to get rid of the conjurers before they have a chance to cast anything. There's not much point using Sky Hunters yet. Hey, let's see how they react. Uh, 11 damage. That's a lot. Basically any Sky Hunter alone is enough to destroy our Sky Hunters because of that goddamn spell. They have incoming reinforcements. Ah, uh, go there. It's going to be a problem. We'll leave Boric here to sort of block the way because he can't take... He won't take casualties. We need still need things to support them. Thirteen turns. We need to try to push to that shrine. Thirteen turns, that's quite a lot of time though. still have to start causing casualties very soon.
That road isn't actually a area where we can go. Uh, have to go through the swamp. Anything useful. Yes, you can. That was very nice. Very nice indeed. I'd like to get rid of these conjurers if I can. Okay, that went great. anymore. I think that unit has something like one guy left. But yeah, we can race. Now it has 12. Ah, but that's the danger if you get separated from your uh, port. Uh, he's very likely to die if we can do something about some of these groups. move this way because we'll try to basically save the skirmisher unit. Maybe I... Uh, yeah. We have enough units here to manage against these. I think we'll survive this round too. They don't have any heavy heaters that can come after us.
We went for the town because we wanted to make sure he can't summon additional troops from there. Try to get the shrine at least one and two turns at minimum. units yeah he doesn't really have all that many units left and we don't have anything that's in danger of dying seriously wound wounded getting wounded through a button of dying yeah won't be a problem problem will be that they're spreading their troops all over the place it's gonna be a bit to try to hunt them down There's nothing serious waiting for us anymore. There's a lot of uh, skirmish units, they're okay, but you can't rely on skirmish units alone. They don't have the punch that a proper attack force needs. They're exactly that, you can drain down the enemy unit's health and their resources. Have your units in the middle of their units sort of uh, draining their actions, but you can't assault with them or at least it'll take a lot of time
Okay, we can get the final shrine. Yeah, I'm not taking an armor. Armor is just fine, but I need weapons. I need something... Ability to do something new. Money will also be acceptable. Yeah, 60 gold, that's fine. The money is at this point acceptable because we need a ton of it to do research and we need to buy new, new units constantly and upgrade them. As things progress in this game, it will become more and more useless though. So... It's just gaining money isn't gonna be acceptable. We, any kind of magical weapon would be preferable. The moment they surrender, I think we can accept it, but on the other hand, I'm not sure we want to. Because we're so close to destroying them anyway. And extra kills do mean extra experience for your troops. Extra just doing damage gives you experience. We'll just march everyone to that final enemy at full speed. Ooh, a new skirmishing unit. Goblin Scouts. And little armor, but otherwise this has some magic defense. I think I'll leave it at that. Only one enemy left, so there's no point in moving every single unit in the army. Okay, your continued success enables the Council of Five to make additional resources available to you, including 150 gold, some is spent on research. New heavy infantry available, legionary. Ooh. That's the... Uh, we get four more attack. And five more defense, and we gain a skirmish ability of nine. So, this is actually quite a huge boost. And yeah, our heavy infantry now is far superior to what the opponent can field on the battle. So, our heavy investment in that, and the bonus we have to that heavy infantry research means that we gained a technological advantage over the enemy. Well, as pure of a technological advantage that you can get in this game. It won't last forever, and I think by the time you reach the final two contents of the game, it doesn't really matter at all. So, it's just how fast are you can get 
get to that point. But yeah, lead, legendary at this point is vastly superior to everything else I've seen. How much does it cost? 48. Well, there are fairly. I think we could use uh, one more skirmish in it. That's probably all we'll ever buy. Maybe we'll go up as we get more units. But no. But I'm very satisfied with that upgrade. We did get an armor, and we. I want to finish doing that before we move on to new things. Boot of rapid movement, amulet of resistance. Uh, you got the magical armor move item to pull. I think that's uh, three point bonus to armor, maybe. We'll give it to one of the legionary. Yeah, it's plus three. And it'll provide additional magical defense. Magical defense 150. Uh, again, we want some kind of an archery weapon to at least some of our legionary units. Uh, but so far things are going quite well. And we leave it at that.